Hey guys, so today I'm just going to do a quick video. Um, I actually haven't done a video in a while, so sorry about that. Um, I've actually had no camera to work with except for my phone, but I ha hadn't had time to actually upload from my phone. Um, and also it's hard to upload from a phone. You only have a certain amount of time, and my videos do seem to take up a lot more time than it's supposed to. But um, I did have a bunch of videos. I still do on my phone. I have deleted a bunch. But um, hopefully I can get this one in. This one's actually just going to be a share. It's not really scrapbooking, smashbooking or whatever. It's actually going to be uh, more of like a shadow box, I guess. Yeah, that's pretty much what it is, a shadow box. So today I went to Michael's and Joanne's and I bought a whole lot of stuff. But um, again, I haven't done videos and I do want to show this. Um, so, I'm just going to show you all the supplies, most, or, well, let's see here, all of the supplies I've had already, I haven't had, I actually just bought them today, um, and some of them I've had, um, for a while. So, I'll just go over it really quick. So, this is the shadow box, it's a 11, sorry, it's 11 inches by 14 inches, and the back, um, is just black. And this is what I worked with, which was the back of the shadow box. So that's what I used to do all my little scrapbooking stuff on the decorating. So this is how it looks. I don't know if you can see it. Um, I bought these dollar fifty frames to put the pictures in, and so you know I thought they were really cute. Um, so they do. It is a little bit dimensional. You can see it. So. Um, I got two of those in a green and a brown. I couldn't find any other matching ones with these. I was going to buy one more or like a red, but I just couldn't find one. So I just bought those two. I put the Disneyland and the California Adventure maps and I used some tool. Let's see it, sorry. Some tool to wrap the maps together in a bow. And then I put a picture here and I matted it with some cardstock that I bought today. It was the coordinations, um, sand it, tear it, emboss it, um, in the key line, so it's like this, so I did some punching. I used that to back the photos for these two photos, and then I used these pearls that I have here, they're already cut in half, sorry about the glare. Okay, so they're already cut in half, um, I actually bought it from Michael's, it came with a bunch of other stuff. It's like an embellishment pack, and it came, came with a bunch of other things. I actually just keep it in this little pouch here on my desk. Um, and then I used, I got this from the dollar fifty bin, but they were $0.50 cents because it was on clearance. So this is just a little glove, Christmas glove, and I put clothespins that I have. These wedding clothespins that I got from like a local Japanese stationery store, you can see there. So I got those, and let's see here, what else, and then I used a new punch that I've got, well I've actually had the punch for like a week or two, and that's this punch, it's called the Garland Punch by EK Success, sorry about the glare, so you can see my phone, um, so yeah I used that, and I got that from Marshalls for like five dollars, it wasn't bad. So I used that to do little red swirls. I cut the flowers off and just made the swirls. And then for the letters here, I just bought these today. These are the Amy Tangerine Hello stickers in brown and green. So get these ones. And that's how they look. And then there's brown ones as well. So I used those. Um, and then these are $1.50, these white roses. You can glimmer miss them, change the color, whatever you'd like to do, but I actually just have them white. I really like how they look with the pearls. So I put those there. And then I use a snowflake punch. I don't know if you can see it. I can't really see where this is going. On the edge there with let's see if I can find it with all the punches. The EK Success, I'm guessing this is the snowflake punch. I got this from Target. It was originally 15 or 16 dollars and I got this for um, seven dollars it was on sale because Christmas is over so I got that and um, the key I actually had this key 
this is the Tim Holtz key, and it just says, um, I think it's a memory, yeah, memory, and I just put some red twine that I've had that I showed you guys that I got from an eBay um, seller, so I did that, and I covered the background, I used um, some Mod Podge um, to cover it up with two pattern papers because this is 11 by 14 I did have two inches left so I just cut my 12 by 12 um, into two different strips and then cut um, a two and a half inch strip to put in the center between the two you can hardly see it but you can see that there's red it splits the two so that way I don't have to use two of the pattern papers and the patterns are from uh, Frosty Cabin Frosty Cabin by Recollections, which is a really cute pattern paper pack. So that's a Christmas paper. So I did that. So I've had the key, um, and I've had the tool. Um, and I think that's all that's on here. I mean, I really love this glove, too. It looks really cute. And so you just take your little box thing and you put it in there. And you can just add some things as well onto the bottom here if you want to glue something on here or have some snowflakes hanging from there, which I might do. So I'll put pictures of the final product, um, but that's how this looks for now. But the final product is not really done yet. Um, I just wanted to show you guys from Joann's. I bought this Martha Stewart punch. I've always wanted it because I love letter stickers and everything, but it was always so expensive. It's the Martha Stewart's letter alphabet punch set, and it looks like this. Oops. So these are usually $35, but I got it for $19.98, I believe. It's on clearance at Joann's. I don't know if it is at yours, but mine it was, so I bought it. Um, so now I can just actually punch out my own letters and use those and make my own stickers. So I love that I can do that. And, again, I'll do a haul video. My desk is actually a mess right now. So, that's the only reason why I have everything like, scattered. And I'll show you really quick here. So, you can see that I have a very messy desk. And that's from the actual... That's the back piece of it. Oops. And that's the only clean part, I guess. I can't see where this is going, but... Yeah, so you can pretty much see... That, that is all crazy. So, yes, okay. That's pretty much it. Um, and now my stickers got stuck too. That's not good. Okay. But yes, so this is what comes, it only comes with one of the shadow boxes. You can use this to put all your decorations on so you don't have to put it on the back cover. I just found it much easier to do with the other cover so I didn't bother. But that's pretty much it for my share today. So. And um, again, I will do a separate video to do a haul. Hopefully I can get this one up so that way you guys can see what I made. Um, I have been doing a bunch of projects. Um, I've actually bought a bunch of Amy Tangerine journals that were on sale at Joann's uh, last month I believe. So this is my January journal and I'll be showing you this as well but when I get a little bit further. Um, and then I also have one that's also going on and that's this one. And this is some of my favorite things. So I've gotten somewhere with this too. And then I also have um, two of these Recollections um, Creative Chaos books. I've actually worked on this as well. So I have a bunch of projects that I'm working on, little by little, just keeping myself busy for this year. And my goal, my New Year's resolution for crafting is to finish all these books. So that's pretty much it for today's video. Again, I will be trying to put up some more videos. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching. Bye.